Participants for this year's Youth Parliament participated in the regular training on parliamentary procedure ahead of the actual debate among the youth parliamentarians. Rosemary Husbands Matre, a former Speaker of the House of Assembly and former President of the Senate, who now holds the Office of Parliamentary Commissioner, was one of the presenters during Wednesday's training session. My session this morning with the Youth Parliament is really to, to help them prepare a good prepare for a good debate their presentations the need for research and presenting facts the need for good parliamentary language the good the need for good um, debating skills and to how they must be polite and while you're debating there's just one win one lose basically there is no need to be aggressive just be calm be confident and present your facts in a, in a manner that is polite. Um, part of it too was for me to tell them some of my experiences in, in being the Speaker of the House, being the presiding officer, how you yourself understand what is happening before you, what is happening, where is the government going with their, their explanation, where is the opposition coming with their explanation, what is relevant, what is not relevant, um, how do you keep um, the debaters, the, the parliamentarians on track and on focus. It is a strong part of the speaker's job that you keep relevant. So I, I was very strong in, tell, in showing them that their speeches must be relevant to the topic under discussion. House Speaker Claudius Francis gave an insight into how bills are presented to the House. The first reading of a bill which is simply the name of the bill. At that point in time, the person moving the bill can say to the House, I want to defer the bill, the second reading, to a subsequent sitting, and they can do that. Or they will move for the suspension of standing order 48-2 to allow the bill to go through all of the stages at the current sitting. Once that motion passes, then the mover of the bill moves to the second reading. At the second reading, he or she explains the rationale for the bill, and a debate ensues. At the conclusion of that debate, the House moves to committee stage. And it is only at committee stage where you can make amendments to the bill. You are not permitted to make amendments to the bill during the debate on the bill. So we go to committee stage. If we make changes there, then the speaker reports to the House that the bill went through committee stage with or without amendments. Youth Parliament will be held on Thursday, June 27, 2024, and carried live on the national television network, NTN. From the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports, I'm Ryan O'Brien.